The quintessential migrant success story is Zalatimo Sweets, an enterprise established by a Palestinian refugee family who started selling pastries in Jerusalem in 1860. Since moving here years ago, their shop is the place to go for classic Palestinian pastries in Amman. The secret of their success lies in the baker's creativity with dough, the intricate handmade quality of the sweets themselves, and the attention given to their baking. Wow. Batlawa. Yes. Burma. Yes. Burma is to roll. Oh, look at this. Nightingale bird's nest. Angel hair pasta, like dough. It's actually a Greek dough, light in fat, lightly baked, dried, and then stuffed with sweetened pistachios to resemble the eggs of a bird's nest. Can I try one of those, please? Thank you. This looks good. It tastes delicious. And then Nabalsia. Nabalsia. Named after Nabalus. Because this obviously came from Palestine, yeah? Yes. I'll take this one. I don't want, I can't eat all. Gotta save room. Oh, that's good. That's real good. Now for something more substantial. The patriarch of the Zalatimo family is gonna make me a cheesy pancake loved by Jordanians and Palestinians alike. What are you making here? I'm making mutabak. Mutabak means folding. Folding. It's folded sweet, you know. Okay. They used to make this for breakfast in Jerusalem. Jerusalem. In so Jerusalem. your family is originally from Jerusalem. We are from Jerusalem, yes. Our history in Mutabak goes back to since 1860. What type of cheese is that? It's goat and lamb cheese, sheep goat? cheese. Yeah, no. you can taste Take? it. Yeah, sure. And uh, I have to replace what you have eaten. Sorry. <laughs> That's all right. So it's like the roti prata. They got that in Malaysia and India. But they don't make it like this, you know. They, they only make it small and they fry it. I like that stuff. It's good, though, huh? It's good. And yours is different. Well, it's, ours is sweet. You can give me the recipe because yes, it's safe for yes, me. Yes, yes, yes. I won't tell anybody. <laughs> Mutabak only takes five minutes to bake. And like konefa, you got to eat it hot. This is the syrup, mm -hmm. which makes it softer, you know, and um, sweeter. It is like a spring roll, huh? Yes, it's so nice to worry. What do you think? I think it's amazingly delicious. It's low on the cheese, huh? I like that. Subtle. That's the whole idea. You have to have a proper equilibrium, a balance. As they say in French, Melange. 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 Oh, yeah, melange. melange. You know, of the, uh, the blend, if you will, of the dough with the cheese, so that not one ingredient overpowers the other. This meal will stay with you all day long. Uh, yeah. Because it's a thousand calories per plate. <laughs> so wrong. The Palestinian refugees from the 20th century wars are the most recent arrivals who have made Jordan their home. But through the centuries, there have been many visitors. 